Maryland, outpost of the South, first to be approached by northern invasion. This is a quote of the southern hero, President Jefferson Davis. The vast majority of individuals whom I meet recognize my beloved Maryland as a southern state, if for nothing else but the fact that I, I am obviously a southern by my views and the manner in which I behave and speak. Perhaps even more telling is the fact that my family is called Maryland home since the colonial days, back when she was ruled by another class of tyrants. Despite this recognition, it can be said that there remain those who are hesitant to officially refer to Maryland as that which she is, Southern. Perhaps it is due to it being somewhat overlooked. We are not an overbearing state in terms of geography or population. However, Perhaps it is due to a conscious exclusion, due to unfettered Yankee migration in this area, and historic and cultural revisions put forth by these invaders, exactly what the remainder of the South is experiencing. Indeed, it could be argued that Maryland has suffered the most damage at the hands of the North, in terms of the image perceived by its fellow Southern states. I believe this is likely the rationale which causes the Southern movement to be somewhat hesitant in fully embracing my fellow citizens, citizens that is, native southern Marylanders caught up in this mess, not the individuals who have come here and merely live here. Some would say that Maryland's current condition makes it difficult to accept a weak argument or even a hopeless case, but when one looks carefully at our state, it becomes clear that it is among the strongest arguments the South can make. If only it will continue to maintain the Mason-Dixon and put Maryland back on the map of our southern homeland. If any of y'all listening have visited the urban parts of Maryland, especially those bordering on the imperial capital of Washington, as well as one southern Baltimore, um, and have fell out of place, <laughs> good. I say this because that is exactly how we true Marylanders feel when we have and I mean have to go there for a particular reason. We've always been on the front line and have been troubled by our observations. Despite valiant efforts by our statesmen to resist, our state was invaded and occupied by Lincoln's hordes before an act of secession could be officially passed. Many drafts of an ordinance of secession were made and embraced, which is exactly why dishonest Abe sent in Yankee troops. We experienced the tyranny and atrocities forced upon all of Dixie several years later. Now, just like our brethren, we face an extension of this invasion to an extreme degree. The invading forces time around still consists of Yankees, and now also their illegal immigrant counterparts from abroad, supported by their scalawag lapdogs. But this time they're here to stay, to settle, and colonize us. With the ungodly growth of the Leviathan known as the federal government, the resulting bureaucracy has brought them here. They have done all they can to obliterate our way of life, our morals, and our overall culture. Yet we, Southern Marylanders, are not extinct. We may be on the front line, and the powers that be may be attempting to shift the boundaries of Dixie. But we have not given up, nor have our identity and loyalties ever shifted. If the South allows the enemy to encroach upon our natural, historic boundaries, it will not end with Maryland. It will only be the beginning of complete isolation and extinction for all, all of our southern homeland. Is this the proper fate of the state that contributed tens of thousands of citizen soldiers to defend its fellow southerners against a belligerent usurper? No. This is the home of Lloyd Tillman, Brigadier General and Hero of Kentucky the home of Raphael Selms, Rear Admiral and also a, a Brigadier General. This is the home of Admiral Franklin Buchanan and John H. Winder, a Brigadier General and Defender of Richmond. This is the home of John Wilkes Booth and the others who plotted to end the tyrant's rule. Ever watchful of the front line, we know full and well what all of our southern homeland faces. Claim us for the South in the hearts and minds of each and every one of y'all, and we'll do the rest. Maintain the Mason-Dixon. Please, 
Put Maryland back on every map of the Southland. It will always stand at the front line at this northernmost outpost of the South. <laughs> Thank you.